The Emperor Scorpion, Pandinus imperata, is one of the largest species of scorpions and is native to West Africa. Here's more information about this fascinating arachnid. Emperor scorpions are large and impressive, with adults reaching lengths of up to 8 inches, 20 centimeters. They have a shiny black exoskeleton and large, powerful claws, pedipalps, used for catching prey and defense. Their tail, which is typically curled over their back, ends with a venomous stinger. Emperor scorpions are found in tropical rainforests and savannas of West Africa, where they inhabit burrows or hide under logs, rocks, or leaf litter. They prefer humid environments and are nocturnal, meaning they are most active at night. These scorpions are carnivorous and primarily feed on insects, spiders, and other small invertebrates. They are ambush predators, relying on their keen sense of touch and vibration detection to locate prey. Emperor scorpions are relatively docile compared to some other species of scorpions. While they are equipped with venomous stingers, their venom is relatively mild and not considered dangerous to humans. They are solitary animals and typically only interact with others during mating or territorial disputes. Female emperor scorpions give birth to live young, rather than laying eggs. The young, called scorplings, are born fully formed and ride on their mother's back for several weeks until they undergo their first moult. In captivity, emperor scorpions can live for several years, with some individuals reaching ages of 6 to 8 years or more under optimal conditions. Factors such as diet, habitat, and temperature can influence their lifespan. Emperor scorpions are popular pets among enthusiasts due to their impressive size, relatively mild venom, and calm demeanor. However, they require specific habitat conditions, including a warm and humid environment, and should only be kept by experienced keepers willing to provide proper care. While emperor scorpions are not currently listed as endangered, habitat loss and collection for the pet trade could pose threats to wild populations if not managed sustainably. Responsible captive breeding programs help reduce pressure on wild populations and ensure a sustainable supply for the pet trade.